Hey and welcome back to Toby's Briosco's with Toby. It's me. Today's video we will talk about a topic which one of my viewers and subscribers recommended, mentioned, whatever you want to call it. And we had a discussion about it, how easy it might be. Well, let's call it a monologue or discussion, not sure. But anyways, um, we will we will actually install GPS on our Victron device. When I say Victron device, I'm talking about my Raspberry Pi 4. Yes, 4. We'll do it on my test device. Um, and I actually did it already without recording. But the good thing about it is I had to troubleshoot it, figure out why it didn't work. And I think that might be very helpful and useful for you. The end result is you have your Raspberry Pi with Venus OS on it. You have a GPS like this one connected. Yes, it's up and running. And when you're on the road, when your Raspberry Pi is connected to a Wi-Fi, to a hotspot or whatever it is all the time, you could possibly track it all the time in your VRM login. That's pretty cool. I'll show you what I did. I'll talk about the troubleshooting I had to do so you can avoid that part maybe or skip that part or, or just go ahead and do it quicker than I did. And then I will show you the end result and what you can do. That's pretty nice. So let's get started with that. The first thing you have to do, we somehow have to either connect via browser to our VM console. So I've done that already. When you have the IP address, just put it into the browser and connect it. When you do not know how that works and you just have your display connected to your um, Raspberry Pi, perfectly fine. You can also continue doing like that because it's plug and play. So either way, you restart here. What I've done so far, I plugged in the device. What I've done, I plugged it into the USB 2.0, which means the plug um, that worked for me the best. Um, I didn't test it afterwards if it worked with the USB 3.0 as well, to be honest. What I've done first, I plugged it in, thought, okay, let's test it. I did one or two reboots just to make sure if there's anything needs to be installed or whatever, anything you need to start up, whatever, internally, please do it. So I started one or two times just to make sure everything works. Then I wanted to see, is the device connected? And that's pretty simple. So when you go into the VRM console, go on settings, then you can just go down a little bit and there is a, nope, not GSM modem. <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's what I did at the beginning. GPS, and you wanna follow GPS. You have some kind of device connected to it, like I have here, like the NMEA and then other stuff behind it. That would be a good sign. It means there is something. When you go on it, this is how it will look like when it works. I'm blurring out lat latitude and longitude, so so you're not actually knowing where I'm right now. That's how it should look like when it works. But if it does not work, this is how it looks like. And and here it says GPS connected, but no GPS fix. And I read a couple of things about it. Let it run. Just wait 10, 15, 20 minutes if you got a brand new GPS antenna, like I did. I thought, okay, I let it run. So I let it run. Did a couple more reboots afterwards. Um, waited a long time, nothing happened. Tried different um, USB ports, the USB 3, USB 2, nothing happened. Then I read something about that um, when you get a new GPS receiver, you have to plug it in somewhere else where it gets more power because at the beginning it needs to initialize it with all the satellites up there, somewhere there and it just needs more power, which maybe the Raspberry Pi cannot provide. So, this is a theory. I just tried it, plugged it into my computer, waited a couple minutes, just let it run, didn't... I tried to find a software to test and whatnot, didn't find a good software, so I didn't even download anything or even start anything. Afterwards, I just unplugged it and plugged it back into the Raspberry Pi, went into settings, did not a reboot maybe, went to settings, and that's what it looked like then. So it just did work. Was that complicated? No, if you know about it. Otherwise you just search and search and search. But this is, let me call that probably the backend. This information will be transferred to the VRM portal, which is pretty nice. Speaking about the VRM portal, here we are. This is the VRM portal for my Raspberry Pi 4. My test device, as you know, nothing's connected except for temperature sensors. And now this GPS device. How can you possibly use it? That is a really good question. I'll try to answer that. So um, first off, you see here the weather somewhere, right? And then below there's some kind of 
location, which you can usually when you go to settings and then you say, oh, and then it can set your location. So I just did reset it. We'll go back, dashboard. And then it looks like it's pulling the GPS information and using it here in the weather the widget. That's cool. But what I really wanted to show you is here in advanced. And in advanced, you can actually activate the GPS. Here you see a widget, which I did already activate. Ooh, look at that, I can make it, well, right, it's just a widget. And how you do it, you have to click here up there in the right corner, widgets. I selected gateway, which should be my Raspberry Pi, right? And then we see here's a little GPS, which you can activate and deactivate. I'll activate it again. And that's where you can lock it. So what happens here when your Raspberry Pi is always connected with the GPS and to the internet at the same time? You drive around in your camper van or on your boat or wherever you are. What will happen is data will be transferred over to the VM portal and they will lock it for you, which means they can track you. Well, probably. But it also means that when you are in here, you can check for today, you can check for this week. Where have you been? And the cool thing about this, I mean, there's, I. I didn't go anywhere with, with my desk here, so Raspberry Pi at the moment, at least this one. So there's no lines, no anything in it. But when you would have gone somewhere, you can download the GPS tracks. Click on download. Yeah, I downloaded a couple times. It's called gps.kml. And then you go to Google Earth. And this is Google Earth. And then we click on the left side on projects here. Open import kml file from computer let me import a gps file and i'll stop here because it would zoom in all the way where i live and because i didn't move it just shows all the time that here at the same location there's a blue little something um here you can see it i'm not zooming in more but when you would have been traveling somewhere it would show you the gps path or the path the route wh whatever it took with this gps what it was tracking all the time pretty cool and i don't know for you as a i don't know for some people living in a camper van or being out in the nature or whatever they might like that stuff um or not or maybe you on purpose want to now turn it off one thing i didn't mention so when you go in the vrm portal again share you can enable and hide my exact location and I think you should do that because when you sharing your site with someone which I showed in this video you might be exposed to potentially other people when you have not a password set so they might exactly be able to track you and see where you are so it's up to you if you want to do that or not um, but this is the option so you can hide it the exact location at least which is pretty cool nice that's all there is what i've seen um, you can change the gps setting but why should you for me it works as it is i'm pretty sure there are more options which you can just you know you can utilize the gps data for some something else if there's something out there please let me know in the comments i would love to know more about it that's all for this video i hope you like this and if you like that stuff as always please like like subscribe to the channel i would be amazing if you subscribe to the channel because um that helps me a lot to make more videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.